Hi everyone, um, I have a really quick share for you, um, some Christmas ornaments that I was working on today. Um, so quick I didn't even pull out the tripod. <laughs> I used my new stamp set, it's the Just Right Clear Stamps, Just Keep Calm, that has all the Keep Calm sayings um, and the frames and then I have the matching, um, this one is nested oval medallion labels and that matches uh, these two down here but this is the one that I used. So I used that stamp set and the Spellbinders die to create some ornaments. I used Keep Calm and Sing On because I thought that would be good for Christmas singing carols that kind of thing. So I used the frame and then I just set out the words and the and sign and I just used uh, a whole bunch of um, different pattern papers from like 12 Days of Christmas, a couple different other ones, so just some, sorry, some 6 by 6 paper pads that I had. Um, so there's a couple different papers. So this one is just has a red pattern, it's, um, it's like a little herringbone, it's hard to see there. So that's this side, I did the Keep Calm, um, these are the little S10 flowers from I Am Roses, and these little leaves are actually from an artificial piece that I have of holly and leaves, so I just um, cut off the little leaves to put on there. And then I have these, they're really old, Teresa Collins blings that have been in my stash for a while and they were black and silver, little stars and the crystal shapes. So this one I just put one crystal on here, so it hangs like that and I used my um, Pencil thread that's this here. I got a Mary Maxim to hang it. And then on the back of this one, I did a stamped image. I'm not sure who that stamped image is from because it's just one that was in my um, box of stamped ones already. So I just colored them up with my Copics. And on the, you can see it's dimensional. I don't know if you can see there, but. Um, on the little feet and the gloves and the hat. Liquid applique. So this stuff is really, really cool. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but it did. So it's just where you put it on wherever you want it and then heat it up with the sun. And um, it gets all puffy and you can make it kind of textured. Um, so I did a little texture on the hat there. So you can see I have. Um, the one sheet on this side is the one that has the stamp on it and it's double sided paper. And then I used a um, chipboard piece in the middle. I have these um, oval chipboards that I got at a scrapbooking convention thing quite some time ago. I have a circle and ovals. So it's a good, uh, it's just a good layer to add in to give the ornament some weight so it's not just paper, right? So I covered that with another patterned paper and then I put the image on with um, foam tape and that's it. So super cute and double-sided so when it's in the tree you can see. Um, now these ones I didn't do stamped images on, I just did the, um, I did both sides the same. So this one has a gorgeous big black crystal on there. And I used the same flowers. And then on the other side I just did the opposite side for the flowers. So it's kind of balanced when it's on the tree. And that one has a nice little pattern in the paper there that looks kind of like doilies. And then this one is another zigzag. And I just put the flowers on the side. And this one I hung some of the stars on there. So super cute. And then on the other side it just has the opposite on the opposite edge. So and that's kind of going with my black, white, and other color theme. So very pretty. I just did three so far, but I did uh, stamp out a whole bunch because I thought it was super cute. As soon as I did it, I was in love with it, and especially because the the spellbinders cuts out perfectly. It was just gorgeous. So there's three new ornaments for my tree, or to send out to somebody. <laughs> All right, leave a comment, subscribe if you wish. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.